Alright, this is a first look at Kubuntu 11.10, new release that just came out this past Thursday. Now, if you were updating from 11.04 to 11.10, you might have had a little problem updating the last few days. It's due to the fact that the distribution server has been busy with updating and downloading all the brand new ISO and offering. So I had to, I basically redid my entire computer. So the first thing you might notice is that you see a brand new activity bar. Uh, what it is, it's, it's cleaner, I mean it stays out the way, it just stays right there. You can drag it, you can move it anywhere, and you can put it back to where you want it. Really, I like it like that, just so I can see it. The bottom bar is actually not windows uh, window eyes or window colored shaded which is fine I like it and with the star like this little um, star icon KDE icon start menu whatever and I don't mind it the one thing that you will notice is that whenever you go to like a menu the arrow is no longer here you actually have to go back to all applications on top and then you see I'm going to show you system settings you see it stays the same. It's just the top has been reconfigured, so that's good. The one thing that you will notice is that, that there's a new software center. Uh, Moon or Moon Software Center, and you'll see it's actually very different than the old software center. Now, if you go to like a game, like let's say we want to do a card game. It's pretty nice. But, as you see, it does not give you the information at the bottom. It just says you want more info, just click here. And it's basically just the same as um, the Ubuntu Software Center. I like it. You know, it's also quick to show you what I'm talking about. And instead of it actually coming up, you can actually still go move around while this is downloading and installing. Which, for me, I personally like. I mean, I don't have to deal with, um, with any of this stuff. I don't have to deal with uh, a box coming up. So, but as you see, it's downloading. Downloading is still a little slow. It's just due to the fact that the distribution server is still slow, it's still trying to update, I think 50%, 12 million computers try to update at one time on the same day when they release, and so it brought the entire uh, Ubuntu network down a bit, but I, mean, I don't mind it. Now as you see, when it's done installing, that's all it does, is just put the little bar up here, and it does not fill your screen up. That's what I like about this. Now, you still get your standard suite of applications. You still get ARC, you get a new tray utility, uh, keyboard, a utility tool, you still get Kate, which I like. Your system still stays the same. I added configured Debian. I see you actually get package manager for Debian, so I like that. When you update, they get to get uh, UX term, X term, um, multimedia. You still get audio. You still get Mark, KB3, uh, MX Dragon Player. Internet still stays the same. Um, you don't get uh, FileZilla or Chrome or Firefox or even PC2i. I downloaded those. But I mean, it still runs the same. It still runs great. Um, like I said, settings always stay the same. Utilities. Your system is always as good and stay the same. I want to show you a few things. Now, a lot of you do download this try and tend to make a um, make it into a LAMP server. Like I do. I like to use it as a LAMP server just because I can use it. So. I'm just going to show you, 
PHP info. It goes with 5.3.6. And you know what? I actually do not mind this because I think for the better part of a good year, PHP had it at 5.3.6. They just recently updated at 5.3.8. I'm actually happy that they didn't go with 5.3.7 because there was a huge bug. Um, the Apache version is at 2.2.20. The Ubuntu eyes. So that's good. Um, PHP MyAdmin actually got updated. I just see it's the brand new one. Sorry, I'm not. I didn't mean to do that. I don't have that set up yet. I see it got PHP got updated to 3.5.4 Dev 1. It's the actual PHP version is 5. Point, or 3.4.5, not Dev 1. I've been trying to find a way to delete it. I know a way. But I mean that's it. That's where it's at. It's nice. I've been using this for a while now my personal server I have actually gone into my personal server uh, dh modded uh, ha the folder for PHP my admin and I've actually been updating it myself so I can still and so this way other clients can still update it or still get the updated version of PHP my admin so as you see the uh, folder icons actually got a brand new uh, update on the Icons. Desktop still the same, but as you see, the folders are still getting have a line now for um, home. Has a nice little home. Media still see it, still the same. So, I mean, I like it personally. This is just first update, first look. I haven't really been getting any updates just because it just came out, and so all the updates are there. You see. See this, and I haven't updated anything. Zero upgrades, zero new installs, zero to remove, and zero not updated. That's what I like to see. But that's it for now. So, see you later.